welcome to my channel if you could please click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more nail videos so today I will be doing a set on my niece's nails here I am going to take my hand file and remove the shine from the nails So once we have that done, I'm just going in with some rubbing alcohol to remove the dust from the nails. And once we've done that for all the nails, I'm just going in applying the tips, making sure they fit sidewall to sidewall. Once I have glued on all the tips, I'm just going in with my clippers and clipping off the point of all the nails except the pinky. I did do both of her hands, so as you can see here, I'm just taking my, my clippers again. Um, sizing up the nails, making sure they're the same length as the other hand. Next, you just want to go in with that hand file and blend in the nail tip where it meets the natural nail. So when you apply the poly gel, it won't have that bump in the middle. And also, I will be removing the shine from the nail tips. And I will be doing some filing as well. So when you file, you want to make sure that you're holding your nail file at a 90 degree angle. That way your nail come out straight. And you won't get a cricket nail because if your nail turns out cricket, you will have to take it off and re-glue it again. When you are filing, you want to make sure that you're not filing too much on one side. So you want to file a little bit on the right, a little bit on the left, and you want to keep checking, making sure that the nail isn't getting crooked. So here is what the nails look like after I finish filing. So I'm going to take my McCart base coat and paint a thin layer over all the nails. And once you've painted, you want to cure in the nail lamp for at least 30 seconds. So once we've cured it in the nail lamp, I'm just going to take my McCart Poly Gel. It is the clear. I will be doing this on the ring finger and the middle finger. The design that I did actually wasn't the look she was going for, but halfway through we realized that we didn't have enough clear so later in the video you will see me go in with some blue poly gel. And doing this poly gel since I am a beginner, it did take me kind of long so this video was very long. I didn't know what to edit out. Like, I wanted to keep it in so you guys can see, but it did take me kind of long, so I just edit a lot, a lot of the parts out. When working with poly gel, you want to make sure that you're just patting, patting it in place, not moving it around too much. Otherwise, you will take it off the nail and you will have to waste product. Um, and... I was using rubbing alcohol for my slip solution, but when I used too much, it made the clear get like a smoky look, so I didn't want to use too much to throw off the clear. I feel like it would be best to use the slip solution that come with the poly gel kit, but this one unfortunately didn't. I ordered this off Amazon.
So my thoughts on poly gel is poly gel is really easy to use once you get the hang of it. Um, but personally, I don't like the taking it off part because you can't just soak it off as you would do acrylic. So you would have to file it off. And me being inexperienced, I tend to go crazy with the drill and file my nails too much and it will damage my natural nails so next so the next time i do a poly gel set most likely i will do full tips that way when i get ready to take them off i can just file down to the nail tip and then soak off the rest and i do have full coverage nail tips coming in the mail tomorrow which i am excited for because i never tried full tips um and most likely I will be using them in my next video so subscribe if you would like to see that um, I will either do acrylic a short acrylic or full coverage tip with transfer foils So like I stated earlier, I will be going in with my blue poly gel and I was going to try to do a design on this nail but it failed miserably so I edited all of that out and I just did this pinky nail with just blue. Like I did mention earlier, doing this set kind of took me long because the poly gel, um, the more you work with it, the better you'll get and the faster you'll be able to do nails. All the channels I watch, they say practice, 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 and this channel is kind of, it's kind of the, the purpose I'm practicing because as you'll see, my nails won't be perfect, but yeah, I'm just practicing. So on this nail, the design I tried to go for was the putting the blue at the cuticle and kind of making a semicircle, like the French tip designs that's very, very popular now. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but as you can see, I just put it near the cuticle and kind of make it like a semicircle. <laughs> I'm just making sure that my apex is thick enough that way the nail won't break and once I finish doing this I will take my hand file well first I will be wiping off the dust and then taking my hand file to go around the circle part as you can see I'm about to do This was my first time attempting to do this. Um, it wasn't perfect, but I guess it kind of turned out okay. I will need a little bit more practice trying to make it um, neat enough. Here I am taking my McCart Clear again to do the tip of the nail. Also, I will, I will be making sure that 
the crease where the blue meets is filled completely so when I file it won't be a hole there and as you can see now it's not perfect but with practice practice makes perfect I went in with my blue poly gel and did the thumb as well and now I'm just taking some of my rubbing alcohol to wipe off the sticky layer of the nail before I file. Since poly gel is easy to file, I will be taking my hand file and just smoothing out the surface, also reshaping the nail. So here's how they look after just filing with the hand file, but in a few seconds I will be going in with my Melanie Susie drill because I feel like I put too much poly gel on the nails so they were a little bit thick and also I will be going around the cuticle to make sure that there is no poly gel on the skin. So after I have filed with my nail drill, I will be going in with some rhinestones. 
I took a top coat and painted it over the ring finger and the middle finger and I will be putting rhinestones near the cuticle. So once I finished placing the rhinestones how I wanted it to be, I put it in my nail lamp for 30 seconds to cure. Here on the index finger, I'm going to paint a top coat once again and I will be applying my holographic butterflies like in my last video. I will be applying those to only the clear part and curing that also for 30 seconds. So I finished with my design, I'm just going to take top coat and paint over all the nails and cure in my nail lamp for 60 seconds to make sure everything is set in place. When I get to the thumbnail, I started painting on some top coat, but I realized the nail kind of looked at white, but I realized it was from the rubbing alcohol I was using as my slip solution. So I'm just buffing the nail and then I will go in with the top coat. <laughs> Once again, I cured the nails in my nail lamp for 60 seconds and these are how the nails turned out. I will be applying some cuticle oil and rubbing them in and this is the final look. If you have made it this far, thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more nail videos. See you in the next one. Oh,